it's Alec McLeish's 22nd Old Firm match. We'll be hoping it's not his last. So Kenny Clark is ready to get us underway. There's another look at that watch. Nakamura. Into Hartson. Lovengard's trying to get involved. A little loose there from John Hartson, but Mo Kamara picks up. <laughs> Maybe McGeady just a uh, little twist and turn the wrong way. A sniper in his stand got him there, I think. Prusha's over hit. And Boric sweeps it away. Hartson was pushing there. Pretty much as we thought, Ian Murray drops back and Billy Lovencrantz is trying to keep quite a high line. Yeah, he's trying to play quite far up the park and offer them an outlet there and, and try and get on the ball and get to the byline and try and get some crosses on. Ferguson onto Rickson, who's played in the last four League Cup matches between the sides. Now Ferguson again picks up. Celtic again quite happy for Rangers to have possession inside their own half. And very few options in for Ian Murray to play it forward. No, it's quite static up front just now. Away from Namuchi to go. So Barry Ferguson. Well, it wasn't just the starting 11 that were having problems. I, to be honest, I don't think it was in Rome that pass. I think Lover can judge, judge it a little bit better. Yeah, precisely. And the Rangers do need a change of fortune. Santa not in the mood to give them it. The Rangers have a very strong record. In this competition under Alan McLeish, since they lost to Celtic back in February 2001, they played 16 League Cup ties, they won 15, and they scored their opponents by 49 goals to 10. And they face a tough chest here. Melania to Hartson. That's good play from John Hartson. The man is for Maloney to chase. And Rodriguez on the ball away. Good possession play from Celtic. And they try and spring quickly. And well, Hartson just missing out of it there. Not sure Fernando Rickson could have passed that any slower. Oh, that's a dangerous ball from McGinney. Here comes Dado Prusho. Oh, uh, quite what Ian McGinney was thinking when he did this, Ian. Well, it's a daft one from a young player. The good thing, I tell you, it's just a, just a daft pass. Neil Lennon turned round after it and looked at him. I think he was about to shoot at him and just says, that's OK, son, just don't do it again. Well, you usually know when you've had a row from Neil Lennon. He's trying to get the shot away. Off target, obviously, as he tried to curl it round Bobo Bali. The thing is, Rangers, as the game progresses, must commit more bodies forward, and that may leave the, the, them open at the back for Celtic counter attack. Well, being a cup tie, they've absolutely nothing to lose. That's it. They have to try and get this one beyond Rangers as quickly as they can. The 
crucial battle in the ball volley. Molly wins again. Stephen Thompson trying to make something happen. Kiriakos fall there by John Hartson. Kiriakos very, very angry. It was a foul, it was just a striker challenge. Kiriakos got there sharper. It probably merited a booking because it was so poorly timed. Second yellow card of the season for John Hartson. That's the reason why. Yeah, it was late. Poor challenge. So the two players who have been booked, Hartson and Kiriakos. Referee Kenny Clark doesn't want to show the yellow cards too quickly. He's refereed it pretty sensibly. Oh, yeah, he has. He's had a decent game so far. And that's Fernando Rickson. Now, oh, there's an innocent face. And they say, Look, I'm in charge. I know what I'm doing. Here comes Hutton. Three Celtic players are almost there. Ferguson, poor first touch. And Celtic could go here. Petrov is with McGiddy. McGiddy could go himself. He'll get a second chance. Well, sometimes, I think you said it the first half, time to do the simple thing, simple time. He, he did really well. He got forward with great pace, but he didn't have to be so cute. He could just have played it earlier. Petrov did a total of good runs. He could have played it into the path. Uh, still in Petrov, not so. <laughs> Holding back like Neil Lennon did. Still in Petrov, the Bulgarian international captain. He's letting Neil McGeady know exactly what he thought of that. O'Malley, official both battle, O'Malley just kicked out. He may have been a touch fortunate there, Ian. I think that's a poor decision. I don't think he's too happy with O'Malley. I, I thought, thought he kicked out. I thought Puzzle got across him and got the ball. You know, it's just bit, better body strength. And then Bobo had a, had a wee kick at him. He's not made many mistakes, Kenny, but I think that was one. So Dado Crucio with eight goals this season. He's one goal in his last seven. As the light rain begins to fall here at Celtic Park. Lennon very quickly away from Ferguson. Maloney and Nakamura. Maloney will take an out play on, says the referee. This is why it's a lovely piece of play. Pitch off. Again, he's not given up on it. And Rangers concede the corner. And I think that's the second time in this half that Celtic haven't made the most of things. No, that, that, a little bit too intricate, but there's gaping holes at the back for Rangers because they're, they're, they're chasing it to try and get a goal here. Francis Jeffers is preparing to come on for Rangers. Suggest that might be for Stephen Thompson. And here comes McGeady. It's deep, Stephen Claus should easily take. Lowell Baldi's off the field of play. He's getting some attention from Tim Wilkinson. So Rangers do have a numerical advantage at the moment. Neil Lennon just slotting back. Now they allowed back on the field of play. Hutton puts the ball across. And free kick given against the challenge of Thompson and Rickson. So Stephen Thompson looking too happy. Scored in the match at Ibrox at the end of last season. And Stephen Thompson is going to be withdrawn in. He made the shot. Well, he, you know what? He's a likeable big guy and he, and he gives his all, but I just think his body language at times isn't great for, for, the, for the Rangers cause. Sometimes, even if you don't feel it, you've got to pretend. And Stephen Thompson struggled in this match. Rangers way. Ferguson, nice touch. And Richie looks up. Stephen Thompson's going to do it. He should do it now. And 
Boric came in. That's what happens when a back four plays with a goalie 15, 16 times in a row. A really good early shout and came and took the ball. You'll see here, I think he's about to head it away or clear it away, and Boric has obviously shouted and gets to the ball. Good skill again from Sean Maloney. He's enjoying this cup tie. Kamara low across Maloney. Just didn't sit for him. Ferguson played that fairly. Tell you what, Hartson Maloney are getting Gordon Strack in a headache because they don't have to look good as a pair. Ultra Sutton, Magic Zeravsky, Craig Beatty, of course. Seems like good leader. A little bit thin on the bench in terms of striking options. And the offside flag we've got there as Sean Maloney breaks through. Okay, well, I looked along the line there, that was tight. I think it might have been up, but that was tight. No, he's onside as the ball's played. Substitution for the Rangers coming off is number 19, Thompson. So Stephen Thompson starts three consecutive matches for Rangers for the number first time in over a year, but he doesn't finish this one. Francis Jeffers has never scored for Rangers. He could do a starting tonight. No, I think early on in his career he had, a, he had a great reputation for scoring scoring goals. The fox in the box, he was called. But he hasn't showed it yet for Rangers. Well, the fox has been let loose. And we'll see what poaching he can do. Richie. There's the ball, right? Used to be a fox at Celtic Park. That's true, that's true. Where, is he, where did you get fox in the box from? Anyway? That, that, was, that was his nickname at Everton in his early days. I'm sure I played in an old firm game when the fox took the ball off me. What were you, the cat in the hat? <laughs> Here comes McGee, leaves it out to Ferguson. Here comes Rickson, but again the first touch is not great from Fernando Rickson. Holds his hand up. That must be a real disappointment for Rangers because he's probably the best midfield player in Scotland last year. Just hasn't reached the heights yet this season. Here comes Petrov who lay claim to that title at the moment. They get into Maloney. Intricate play from Celtic. And the view of the challenge well. Trying to take on Hutton. And we get a free kick through Sonno. A definite foul, Paul. And Hutton had done ever so well. He does have him in the corner flag. He's going nowhere. Why do that? It's a crazy foul. And he gets a yellow card too. And there's all sorts of things going on in the box at the moment. Well, Ferguson and Kamara just threatening to get a little bit tasty here. I, never, I didn't see what happened there off the ball. I think it was just a wee bit after. It's on the line. The cheers of Super Bowl went round again. I never thought he'd hear that. Well, I know. He's won the affections of these Celtic fans. Kenny Clark just finishing off his paperwork. <laughs> Sean Maloney had moved the ball. What will the quality of delivery be like from Sean Maloney? Well, look at the pushing going on in there. Jeffers gets it away, McGeady with a strike. Rodriguez moves it away. I know there's pushing goes on here. <laughs> Some extreme stuff there. Stuff between Hearts and Kiriakis is crazy. Boric. <laughs> did he get away with that? He did so. The offside flag comes up. Well, Neil Lennon and Arthur Boric getting into a horrible mess. Well, I don't know if we can blame Neil Lennon, I just think he rolled it back and Boris didn't kick the ball out properly. Very unlike him, because he's usually good at off the deck.
Look at Hartson and Kiriakis here. I mean, Hartson just gives them a full front or shove there. Well, that's a free kick. Oh, and then Crazy. the trip. Rodriguez didn't want it cleanly. It's played up the line. Well, Ali McLeish has changed it with Jeffers and Lovengrantz. Really, not a lot else he can do. No, and Celtic look the more likely team to score at this point. Spinning away there, Kiriakos. Ferguson loses out to Lennon. Hartson's going after it. Decent header back by Ian Murray. The Rangers have won the last three Old Firm League Cup meetings all by 2-1. They've won eight of the last ten. But it's Celtic with the upper hand. And Boric is taking touches now. Well, Gordon Strachan must be pretty pleased with the way that things have gone. He doesn't look it there, but to start the second half, he wanted to make sure his side gave nothing away, kept playing with the pace and tempo that they had in the first half. Have they done that? No, I think the only thing I'm disappointed about is that it's only one nothing and it's still game on because they're in total control of the game just now. But at one nil, anything can happen. Akinura onto Kamara. There's McGiddy. Kamara's offside. Just went a little too early, Mo Kamara. Celtic again, just playing the ball across the back. That was a late challenge there. And, uh, frustration more than anything else. And, uh, Francis Jeffers really shouldn't have been on the pitch long enough to be frustrated with his yellow card. I could try and stick up for him and say that was a striker's challenge, but it was just a daft one. A daft one. He had no intention of getting the ball. He's came, that's a dangerous challenge. He's came in really late there. Deserves a yellow card. Well, I'll tell you what, could, do you know what, Paul? It could have been more than that. Could have been more than that. Bad challenge from behind from the Liverpool player on his old firm debut. And they just have to calm down. It's crucial that Rangers players keep their discipline. I mean, it's still 1 0. They've still got a chance in this game. Well, who's going to be your man of the match? If you can agree with Ian McCall, hospitality at a semi final of your choice. Give us a call, we'll announce the winner in sports scene here on the BBC on the 19th November. And this is why we have a 1 0 game. Well, you can talk about the goalkeeper or you can talk about the quality of the strike. Sean Maloney has made the difference. Ball gets played forward. The cross comes in, but Boric easily takes it. And Alan Grant's trying to deliver half a dozen goals he's scored against Celtic, tried to turn supplier there. McGeady plays it forward, the challenge comes in. And Rodriguez deals with it. If you remember, back to the quarter-final last term. Celtic led by 1-0 to nil through John Hartson and Rangers, well, they made two changes. Prusha and Havalati came on and they scored the goals, which put Rangers through. Will there be goals from Jeffers and Lovenkrantz? Get away by Nakamura. By the way, Celtic subs have been called to the bench. They've got Virgo, Thompson, Pearson and Varga as their options. But it's Mo Kamara who comes forward. That's one of the coolest things he's done tonight. He's been playing pretty well. He's, he's even getting a clap now and hits a poor cross in the box. You know, a great pace. He's up and down the left side only, but I, he won't want to see that again. That's a poor cross. And neither will Gordon Strachan. Maybe thinking about bringing Alan Thompson on, giving him a run, taking off maybe one of the wider players. Nakamura's perhaps been the one who's fading out of things, although McGeady could be the other one. Uh, 
little push there. And he's asking why. I think it's pretty clear why. Yeah, it's a free kick. He's bundled them off the ball there. A clear foul. And Thompson will come on. Kamara turns it across range. He's got players on that left side. Thompson flicks in Namucci. And the free kick goes against Namucci. Well, Alan Thompson wants his place in the first 11. We, we can guarantee they want to get into the action, though. Well, he's not a bad sub. Good goal scoring record, old thumb games. Alan Thompson has been known to score the odd goal. No fun game. He's got seven of them. And sent off a few times as well. Kiriakos again concedes and Kiriakos continues to talk. And Kiriakos is going, going, gone. And that's what a way to happen. I said it from the first five minutes. Well, he can smile, but I tell you what, Alan McLeish will not be. Not a happy man at all. That was daft from Kiriakos. And Kenny Clark, well, what can I do, said the ref? Well, the president was set a month ago, two months ago, Wayne Rooney. Referees just don't accept that. Well, there was the free kick. Well, a big hand for the referee is the last thing that Kiriakos does in this match. And I don't think he should be smiling at him. I tell you what, he's worked hard for his manager, but I tell you what, he's let his manager down there big time, just when Alec needs him most. Well, he's clapping there, and down he goes the tunnel. I think some might say he might have been clapping fans, but I don't think it matters. It was a sarcastic clap, and as Wayne Rooney found out... Well, here comes John Hartson. The offside flag was up, wouldn't have counted. Well, Stefan Kloss is a worried man as John Hartson came through with offside two Celtic players. Close, but a decent decision. I think Rangers are going to go three at the back now, Paul. I don't think they've got any choice in. I no. think they've just no. got to go for it. Yeah. Well, it's been a bad night so far for Rangers in the defence of the trophy. How are they going to get out of this, if at all? Solid challenge by Nakamura. Chaffa, they get across. Andrew Lennon is his goalkeeper. Ferguson, he's not given up in this match. Looks in on Nakamura, Nakamura wrote the challenge, the pass is on. Here comes Petrov. I venture to say, Ian, he had too much time. Yeah, and he's getting Neil Lennon coming out in his overlap there. But frankly, if I was if I was uh, still in pair, if I'd have had to spell, I don't know if Lenny would have finished it in the box, but uh, they're, they're creating chances now, Celtic. Well, Nakamura stood up so well to Fernando Rickson. Horrible shot though from Slavia Petrov. I think Murray got across well as well. Here's the clapping. You see the Celtic fans up applauding. Kiriakos turns, has a look, and he decides to clap as well. I think it, but I the think assistant it, thinks he's clapping at him in. I think he's clapped the linesman. And do you know what? Why take the chance? Well, no favours for Alec McLeish. And as Boric comes. Here comes Hartson. So Kamara. Here comes Kamara again. Maloney, Kamara on the overlap. Hartson's available. Rangers desperately defending through Ian Murray. You know, he might have played that ball in cricket, but, you know, how do we look in the box? You know, there wasn't a lot of support, it was only John Hartson in the box. So Celtic with a corner kick. 
Free Kenny Clark watching for the pushing. Ball in Hartson came across. Ball was not out of play. And Ian Murray again didn't get the connection. He was looking to concede a throw. Concedes the corner. Just really in that Celtic are going to make something happen. Ball just blocked Rodriguez. And John Hartson looked lonely without Kiriakos in the box. So 10-man Rangers with under 20 minutes to get back into this match. They have to find a way past Ada Boric, Fernando Rickson and Nakamura. Rickson was strong and winning the ball. They wanted a shout out of crucial on Petrov. And Rangers are just going to have to calm down here, Ian. Yeah, I mean, Petrov, I, I couldn't see what happened with Nakamura, but the crowd in the far side went daft. Well, Whitson came in, you know, the elbow was up, perhaps for balance. The, the elbow was up, but I don't think there was a lot in that. You know, Petrov here, I just think it was too sharp for Whitson and too sharp for Puzzle. The Rangers have just got one away, one in the SPL from six games. Been struggling away from Ibrox, mind you, they've been struggling at Ibrox as well. He said they've only lost three SPL matches, it's the draws that have been doing it. Here comes Celtic, lovely touch. Maloney goes in, McKinney, chance to finish it. Good block, second time. And ball knocked away. They just run out of play. I tell you what, the, the link play, we never saw it here, but the link play from between Hearts and Maloney has been special all night. Well, McGinney with a couple of opportunities that were blocked. Certainly looking for the second that would kill this match. Here comes Maloney, is it across? That's it. It won't count. As Ian Cole, it's still in Petrov. Has not scored. I'll tell you what, it's never offside again. What a poor decision. It was a horrible looking finish, but still in Petrov, you got the feeling knew he was offside, he didn't start to celebrate. It's a very, very tight decision. I'll tell you what Gordon Stacker will be thinking, you know, the, the total domination of the game, but it's still one nothing. It's a little bit like last night, Motherwell. You know, he should have put Aberdeen away. Didn't do so. They're trying to do now the offside flag up again. John Hartson is furious. Still in Petrov could at least smile about it, but it was offside. He, he cannot have got that one wrong again, surely. Tom Murphy on that far side got it right. I think that's right. I think that's right. And a bell goal in the new Tory leader in Scotland. Probably provide some words of comfort to Alec McLeish. There are some harder jobs. That's a mistake by Hutton. Here comes Maloney. Murray has to be careful. Two in the box. I'll cut back. Murray did really well there to stand up. You know, the penalty was on there. He did really well. Pusher got five Celtic players in his vicinity. Rangers are finding it very, very hard to get any form of support to Dado Pusher. They are, in, you know, the big area tonight for me has been Neil Lennon and Petrov. I feel they've dominated the midfield area for Celtic. Still, you wouldn't bet against anything happening in an old firm game. Free kick there. He just wants a word with Eddie McGeady. Showing yellow cards to Kiriakos, Hutton, Jeffers, and a second for Kiriakos. John Hartson, the only Celtic player booked so far. Fernando Rickson. And just perhaps best chance from the set play. Little high flick on, Prusha almost broke in. That's going to be a goal kick. 
And it just isn't followed Rangers way. No, it's not, it was like that Saturday at Ibrox, uh, you know, nothing was followed. I think they were playing for a handball here, but it was actually Puzzle that handled it. And you see here they are. I don't think he meant it, but he certainly handballed it. And that's what Arthur Boric was saying. Boric has looked exceptionally comfortable, and will be hoping to be with his national squad in Germany next term. He's spot on, Paul, he just looks confident in everything he does. Ball over the top, the outside flag goes up. You know, that Oprisho just trying to push the line the whole time. When it's four against one, you need some form of advantage. Just went too early. As soon as he chases the ball, he becomes active, and it was a right decision. Absolutely no hurry. So Alan Thompson, he was told to warm up for a while ago, he's going to come on. And Ian McGiddy will give way to his senior colleague. Ian Murray trying to huggle over Petrov. Neil Lennon is not a happy man. And Ian Murray wins his side a free kick. I like Neil Lennon's. Telling Telf that they calm down, keep the ball in the deck, let's pass it pass it around. The game's won just now at 1-0. You know, they're down to 10 men. Let's move Rangers about the pitch. Because Rangers are going to have to push further forward to try and get equalised. Well, Aiden McGinney is a substitute in last year's quarter-final. He started this one and gives way to Alan Thompson. He's not used to coming on as a sub, Alan Thompson. But he is, and that's the change that's been made. So Rodriguez pushing it forward. Fernando Rickson. Nowhere for Rangers to go. Remember, they're down to ten men. They're just joining us here in BBC One Scotland. The goal that separated the sides given the first half from Sean Maloney. One of your last chances to ring us for man of the match if you'd like to go to the semi final for your choice, tickets, hospitality, the whole works. The draw made is on the 19th of November, just after the draw for the CIS and Tunes semi finals. Live on Sports Scene on BBC One. I think Rodriguez might be struggling a little bit here. That's the last thing Rangers need. He certainly is. The ball was played through. You just watch him here. Nobody near him. And that will be the end of the match, I would suspect. Certainly if it's a hamstring. So Jose Perez Fan Fan has just had one start in the last 13 matches. He is preparing to come on. Hartson goes it in field. And Thompson trying to get involved. Paul Telfer. And to Nakamura. He's waited that perfectly onside. Ball across Hudson. Oh, he went for the cheeky little chip. He should have perhaps gone for the thump into the back of the net. I, I was just about to say the type of centre forward John Hudson is he's, he's an absolute master of his craft. And then he does that. Beautiful you know, thing He usually could put that in any sleep. Maybe try to be a little bit too cute. Well, Rodriguez in real trouble. He'll leave the field of play. He couldn't take part in that move, and Hartson had to knock the ball away. Well, they say Dado Prusso has done everything at Rangers this season. It involves helping his teammates off as well. Yeah, I think it's always the hamstring. So the only respite for Rangers is they do have ten days before the next match. Yeah, the thing about Rodriguez, he's actually done OK today. And, and, and the important thing is he's kept his discipline and got on with his job. So Rangers are fan fun at the back. Remember, no Marvin Andrews, he's away on World Cup duty. Coming down to Tobago. Trying to qualify for the World Cup next year. 
Nakamura. He's going to have international duty. Much to Celtic's disgust. For a friendly. Nakamura then was pushing at Manny Ferguson. Celtic pick up through Alan Thompson. He looks unhurried and untroubled. Again, Lennon plays it through onside Maloney. Chance for John Hartson. Can he get in there? Close to his job. Well, Petrov goes in, robs Fanfan. Fanfan is just on, just to get back in there. And was sensible enough to get out the way of the back heel. Leon says the referee falls to McManus. We've hardly had to mention the back four for Celtic in the defensive capacity in this half year. No, they're, they're very well organised now, and to be honest, they haven't been tested in the second half. That's in ten minutes to go, Maloney. Under Nakamura, that's where the space is. Nakamura! Good save from Stefan Cross. Nakamura looked for his first old firm goal. It wasn't to be denied by the red shirted Cross. I think he had to shoot as well. He's cut inside quite well. Maybe to try, maybe put a little bit of bend on it in the far corner. But a good stop. Stefan Cross. Good stop, comfortable save. So Nakamura. He's got Maloney shot. Plays it across to Lennon. Just one Celtic goal in his time. He won't be shooting from there. Nakamura, decent cross. Goes by Lennon. And Bolivani scored. Celtic will be in the semi final of the CIS Insurance Cup. They'll win the quarterfinal here at Celtic Park. First thing I'm thinking as well, Paul, is that a goalkeeper there? It's a decent ball into the box. I think Klaus has got to watch the ball more than the man there. He's looking at Bobo Baldi instead of the ball. We've credited it Bobo Baldi. Did he get the final touch or did it come off Stefan Klaus? It's a Stefan Klaus own goal. Oh, ball, he tried to claim it, Gordon Strachan doesn't care who scored. Celtic are through. He couldn't find a finer professional than Stefan Kloss. What must he be feeling now? Well, we said earlier on, Ian, you know, Stefan Kloss, would he suffer from not having played in the top team, Ron Vatarus has been the man in possession. Well, it's I think I, I give you the answer to the time. He's leaving, he's leaving himself open for that accusation, that's for sure. And people will be talking about that tomorrow, no doubt. Well, he knows the highs of the game, a Champions League winner, Stefan Kloss, Borussia Dortmund. Many, many trophies for Rangers. And this will be a low moment, as he's too short of his 300 appearance for Rangers. Crucial, can't get anywhere. Rangers, I was going to say, in the second half, haven't really tested Boric, haven't really tested in the first half either. Do we pick one? Celtic played some really good stuff in the second half. Ferguson, there's the ball on. Ball breaks to Crucial. Again, nowhere to go. And the long ball through. Rangers will have to remember they come here in 10 days' time. They don't want to lose a third goal and you know, make it look worse. And just scoops it into the hands of the goalkeeper. So Adam Bonic just pulls the ball out. The Celtic fans are dancing and jumping. Any win over your old rivals is sweet, but they know the position that Rangers are in. And the team who lead the SPL are rubbing it in. Kamara, who's played well, on to Petrov. Ball gets not back. Well, Celtic just enjoying themselves out there. 
Rangers down to ten men. Ian Murray goes in with a challenge, and that's a free kick. Rod Stewart there. Paulie sounds like you've got your voice tonight. My album comes out just in time for Christmas. <laughs> the Great American Songbook, Volume 7. It's a DVD now, mate, it's not an album. <laughs> you mean I can't bring out a record? <laughs> well, if only Rod Stewart had my looks. <laughs> well, I've got his voice. Murray knocks it out of Nakamura. Rangers searching for a consolation. Bouchot just being tugged back there by Bobo Baldy and the referee didn't like it. And the yellow card comes out for Bobo Baldy. I think it definitely caught him, but I think it, you know, I don't think it meant. Certainly wasn't intentional. Puzzle's just got on the wrong side of him, turned him well. And to be fair, well, you know, he only had two hands on him. That's <laughs> right. Four minutes remaining here at Celtic Park. Very long remaining for Alec McLeish. Prouchot! It is just no Rangers night. Great delivery into the box. You know, it's a decent chance as well. Doesn't really get a header on it. Just bounces off the bar. I think it came off a defender's shoulder, actually. Yeah, I think it did in the end. Just came in and clipped the top of the crossbar. And Celtic have won five in the last six between these sides at Celtic Park. Continue the dominance. Here comes down a push up. Ten man Rangers. Trying to find a way back. Here comes Petrov. Pulls Ferguson. Petrov gets there. Nakamura. Singing round Celtic Park is almost deafening. I think these the Celtic fans think they're on the verge of something quite special under Gordon Strachan. Now it has all changed. Long angle ball played away. Well, who's been key? Who's been your man on that team? Well, I think still in pet of a Neil Wren. I've ran the game, but I got to tell you, I think it's got to be Sean Maloney. A for his goal, B for his work rate, and C, he looks quicker and stronger than he was last season. Moving a Scotland jersey on Saturday, Sean Maloney, but he's in goal-scoring form. And this is the strike that beat Stefan Kloss. And it's a shame it's going to be remembered for a mistake by Stefan Kloss, because I tell you what, it's a fantastic strike. Free kick given. So just 90 seconds to go, Sean Maloney. Fifth goal of the season, it's 26 for Celtic overall. Here comes Kamara. Ferguson away. Manus can bring it down. How will this match, you know, have the bearing on the league match here? You know, will Celtic just you know, play with a the swagger, they're doing so, and, you know, Rangers, they will be fragile, I guess. Well, one thing is a bearing is Rodriguez, I would have thought about for that, if it's a hamstring. The other thing, it must dent Rangers' confidence again. They haven't scored. To be honest, they haven't really looked like score, and it also gives Alan McLeish a head in the goalkeeping situation, again. So, Stefan Kloss, you know, fortunate on goal. Confirming his side would not be any further in this competition. 30 seconds to go. Plus injury time, but overall I don't think Rangers can have too many complaints the way they played tonight. They certainly have deserved it. Here comes Nakamura. 
Alan Krantz goes in with the challenge. He's really done very little good at Alan Krantz since he came on. I think you saw there, it's the 90th minute of the game. Still in Petrus, just still trying to get by the forwards in behind the Rangers defence. Well, it's just clears it away. Only two minutes to go. An additional tie in the board held up by Craig Thompson, the fourth official. Two minutes before these fans will really celebrate the victory in the CIS Insurance Cup. Well, how it's all chased around for Gordon Strachan, and how sweet is his first Old Firm victory. Alec uh, McLeish in his 22nd will taste defeat for the 11th time. Celtic just quite happy to hold on. It's just been a night here where just too many Rangers players didn't perform. No, I mean, they started, they competed well at the start, but uh, once Celtic scored, they've basically dominated the whole game in terms of passing, movement. They've been excellent. That's going to be a yellow card for Fan Fan, just taking down John Hartson. Final for Rodriguez who went off injured. And this could be the last action of the match. Alan Thompson stands with Petrov. Jeff Telfer. Somebody just deciding they'll keep possession. Kenny Clark with a glance with the wrist, and that's it. Celtic Park celebrates. It's a rare League Cup win for Celtic, and it's one they've enjoyed, and it was sparked off through Sean Maloney in the first half. The CIS Command of the Match Award tonight has been won by Sean Maloney. Well, it was also a disappointing event for Stefan Claus. Good three on goal with John Hartson. Well, he's loved it. 100th goal at the weekend. Didn't score tonight. His usual influential self. Yeah, he led the line brilliantly. You know, and I think they'll gloss over Rangers' performance because the, all the papers have been talking about Stephen Cross's two errors. Well, Kamara, too, had a terrific match. The players shake hands. They'll meet again in 10 days' time here at Celtic Park. But it's the man of the match who made the difference, Sean Maloney. He's terrific. He's moving all night, he's touched, he's controlled, and he's also a little bit quicker than he used to be. Celtic joined on Firmland, Livingston and Motherwell in the semi-finals. It finished Celtic 2, Rangers nil.